Hi everybody, today's focus, I am testing Spick and Span to see how well it removes bacteria from my floor. So Spick and Span is one of those cleaners that my mom used in my house all the time while I was growing up, so I'm curious to see how well it removes bacteria on the floors. In order to test how well Spick and Span removes bacteria from the floor, I'm going to take a petri dish just like this guy here and label them A, B, and C. I'm going to take some sterile swabs and I'm going to swab my floor before cleaning with Spick and Span and put that sample in the section labeled B for before. Then I'm going to clean according to the directions here, swab again, and place that sample in the section labeled A for after. See, so use my control, nothing's going to go there. So let's see how we're supposed to use Spick and Span. Okay, so this is Spick and Span Advanced Clean Multi-Purpose Cleaner in a Fresh Lemon Scent, which is great. Um, it has directions in the back here. It's really small print and kind of hard to read. So let's look at cleaning floors. Mop floor with a quarter cup of this product mixed with a gallon of water. Rinse for the best shine. Okay, then it has another section for disinfection. It says to clean and disinfect hard, non-porous surfaces. Apply this product with a sponge, mop, or rag to wet surface completely. That's, that's going to be, if this is full strength, that'd be kind of crazy. Let stand for 10 minutes. Rinse or wipe clean. So what I'll do is I'm going to kind of do a mix, I guess, between the two of those directions because I want to test this disinfecting power on the floor, not like a counter surface or a small surface. So what I'll do is I'll mop with the quarter cup and a gallon of water ratio. We'll let it sit for 10 minutes. And then once it's dry, I'll take that second swab. Uh, for the after sample. That's what we'll do. I can rinse the floors after to make it shine nicer, but I'll take that sample after it dries, but before rinsing. Okay. All right. So let's see how well Spick and Span removes bacteria from my floors.
Now for some results. Let's look at the first sample, the kitchen floor. So in the before section, we can see some bacteria. It's not a huge amount, but there's definitely some bacteria on the before section. And in the after section, there's no bacteria at all. So the Spick and Span did a great job at removing the bacteria from my kitchen floor sample one. Kitchen floor sample two, in the before section, we have more bacteria on this side. So there's a lot of bacteria there, and we can see different types. And in the after section, there's no bacteria at all. So the Spick and Span did a great job at removing the bacteria from my kitchen floor sample two. The bathroom floor sample one. In the before section, there is a lot of bacteria here. This is a great sampling of bacteria, and you can definitely see different types of bacteria as well. And in the after section, we have nothing. There is no bacteria growth at all afterwards. So the Spick and Span did an excellent job at removing the bacteria from my bathroom floor sample number one. My bathroom floor sample number two, in the before section, we do have a lot of bacteria, and there are different types. Not quite as much as we had in that other sample, but we can definitely still see a lot of bacteria and the different types. And in the after section, we have two small bacterial colonies. So again, the Spick and Span did a good job at removing the bacteria from my bathroom floor sample two. Overall, I'm impressed with Spick and Span's ability to remove bacteria from my floors. It did a great job. I purchased actually this bottle of Spick and Span from my Dollar Tree, so this was actually only $1.25. For those wondering what it smells like, this is fresh lemon scent, and it smells like classic Spick and Span to me. Um, my mom used to use Spick and Span when I was younger, and so this is just what it smells like to me. It just smells like Spick and Span. I don't actually smell lemon. <laughs> I feel bad. If anything, it'd be like a fake lemon scent. Um, it doesn't smell bad, in my opinion. It's just kind of nostalgic for me. Um, so it's not a very strong scent. I definitely smelled it as I was adding it to my mop bucket, and I could smell it as I was mopping. It was not overpowering at all. Once everything was dry, I didn't smell it. So I am happy to say that Spick and Span Advanced Clean Multipurpose Cleaner did a great job removing bacteria from my floor. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comments section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email that's also in the description below so that I know it's from you and so that I know I should check my mailbox. I did receive a method cleaner uh, from somebody and I don't know who it is and I'd like to know who sent it to me before I test it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.